Welcome everyone to the Mike on a Mic show. I'm your host Mike Flenty. I'm here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada with the one, the only Jade Maya. How are you doing? I am awesome. How about you? I'm pretty good. You know, a uh, rough uh, drive in, but it was a good time once I arrived. What turns you on in a guy? Wow, that's a tough one. There's a lot. I like, I love men, so what can I say? Um, I love big hands. That's the first thing I like. I like big hands. Because, uh, I mean, if I like a guy who could grab me and put a hold on me, no problem. So he's got to have, like, steroid hands or something. Like, they got to be strong and grab me. Um, I like uniqueness. I don't like a guy that follows everything else, like spray tanning and stuff. And Like I said, I can't have a guy that's girly like that. So I do like muscles. I mean, I, I take care of myself. I work out five times a week and have a trainer and eat properly. So the guy has to, I mean, he has to take care of himself, obviously. Um, I mean, I love so much in guys. It's hard. I don't mind height so much. I don't care if he's the same height as me. It means I don't wear heels so much. But I love wearing heels, so if he's a little taller, then that's perfect, because then I could wear my highest heels. And the higher the heels, the nicer the ass. So usually six inches is my minimum height for heels. So I think that's what turns me on the guy. Does your work ever affect your relationships? Oh my gosh, all the time. This, I swear, this last guy I was dating, Italian, and he was so bad with me he used to i swear he spent all on day all day long online looking th at me or looking through things about me and everything and every time we'd get together at night he'd have something new to ask me about he'd say is it true you were there is it true this happened or is it true you're you saw this person too is it true this this is and that instead of asking me or getting to know me gradually because of my industry and i've been in it for four years now I mean, my life is plastered on, on Google. Yeah. I mean, but I would I would love that a guy just took the time, like, old school to get to know me. So it's it's hard. It's really hard, too. And they get so insecure when we're out in public. They don't like it and everybody's looking at me. Or some people do know what I do and some people don't. But the people who do are always staring. He doesn't like that. And, Oh, it's hard. It's hard. And if the guys in my industry, they just get really weird with me. They just... Unless they're busy. Unless they're busy on, and cheating. <laughs> Unless they're busy and cheating and have a side chick yeah. or something. And I don't give a guy a reason to have a side chick. I give them everything I want, so... Yeah. Cheating yeah. is cheating. Cheating is cheating. A guy has no reason to cheat with me. Even with my busy career, I still give him everything he needs. Mm -hmm. so I don't give a guy a reason to cheat. Do you like any sports? I like basketball. Basketball, I could watch. I could watch football. It's aggressive. It's hot. I mean, guys tackling each other. Mm -hmm. What's so wrong with that? I'll watch that. I'll watch that. It's hot and they're sweaty and monster and they're just growling at each other and screaming and that's hot. So I'll watch football and basketball. I do like soccer. I like a guy with culture and usually the soccer players are always culture. They're like Europe or Becca. It's hot and European and Ronaldo. Come on. He's a good-looking guy. Um, yeah, so I watch soccer too. I mean, I'm thinking of all the piggish reasons why I would watch sports, but <laughs> what can I say? No, um, you're going somewhere on Sunday. Where is it that you're going? This Sunday, I am going back to Los Angeles, and then I'm coming back on Thursday, and I'm going to take my mom to Cuba for three days. It's her 50th birthday. Sorry, mom. Sorry, I did not tell that to everybody. <laughs> It's her 50th birthday, so we're taking my mom to Cuba with my sister and brother. We're all getting together for the first family trip of our lives. Um, and then after that, I am going to Miami, and then I'm starting my tour. So, I mean, Miami and LA are all business and work and whatnot, but my official tour starts when I come back. So you're going all around, like, North America kind of thing? I'm doing that. I'm going all over Quebec, North America, and I'm doing some of Europe. I'm going off to Spain, too. Cool. Yeah, I'm excited. excited. I've never been there before. So, what's your favorite country? Well, Lebanon. That's where I'm from. Come on, I'm crazy. second favorite. Okay, second favorite. Yeah. Mm, Greece. Yeah. Those people know how to party. I like to party really hard. My last appearance in Washington. Oh my gosh, I had an appearance in Washington. My guard carried me back to my hotel room. Mm. Yep. Nobody saw that, I don't think. I don't think there's no pictures yet. My agent hasn't told me there's any pictures anywhere, but dropped down to the floor in my booth 
and uh, passed out there. It's pretty embarrassing. Um, I did not make out with Mike the situation. I did not make out with him in Cancun when I did that uh, dance skit on the, the stage at the city club in Cancun. That did not happen. What did he say you did? Oh, it's online. It says <laughs> I did. <laughs> apparently I did, and apparently I was dating Nazim from the Toronto Meat Please on the same time. <laughs> not true. <laughs> That's not true. He was backstage high out of his mind, and there was three, like, I'm not even, Say, I'm not even saying this to me, but there was three big girls back there with him and they were having the time of their lives and it was on MTV Live, but they just snipped enough to make it look like I was doing stuff, you know, mm. which I wasn't. Um, I wouldn't even touch a sober mic, so it's not my thing. Mike, no offense. <laughs> no offense. Not you, Mike. Mike, the no, situation, no. you know. Yeah. Um, let's see. I have a six-pack, too, but it's a six-pack of beer. It's a six-pack of beer? Yeah. That's hot. Yeah. I like that. That's going to be the new trend. You should make exactly. that up. And then like, start putting a headband or something. We yeah. need to start a trend here, okay? Exactly. Forget the fist-pumping orange guys. Yeah. That's not what's in. It's not what's in right now, okay? It's all about six-pack of beers. So, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you very much for coming on the Mike on a Mike show today. It was no, so no. awesome. And um, thank you for the tour of your house as well, your condo. I'm, I hope you like my condo. I put a lot of effort into it for the time I was here. I'm never home, so I do what I can with it. And when I am, I'm usually pre-drinking for something or laying on this couch answering fan mail <laughs> or doing whatever I'm doing. This is a no man central, except for that room <laughs> and that room and this counter. <laughs> and, the, and the camera, the camera. And the camera, yeah. and that's it. And maybe the floor once or twice. <laughs> Too much Ciroc one night. I'm joking. Yes. Notice that bottle's empty. Yeah. So yes, no, it's not bad. Right. So we're gonna sign off. We're gonna say thank you, everyone, for watching. And this is Jade Maya, and I'm Mike on a mic. Peace.